Welcome to the Outthinker Blogcast. This is the Blogcast dedicated to helping you outthink your competition. My name is Kai Krippendorf. This week I'm reporting from Beijing. You can see a little bit of the city behind me. And this week I want to talk about how can you grow while your competitors flounder. I want to talk about that for two reasons. Uh, first is here in China, I'm, I've spoken to several entrepreneurs and investors. I really get a sense that there is a fundamental difference in outlook here as compared to the United States and Europe, that people here are bullish. They see opportunities and they are planning to actually increase their investment strategies. Um, the second reason is that last week in New York, before I flew over here, I got a chance to speak to a very successful investor and he also has this bullish, forward-looking, growth-oriented perspective. And we want to understand why does he have that perspective and what does he see that others don't see. First, let me tell you why you want to listen to this guy. This guy is worth $1.4 billion. He's one of the um, thousand richest people in the United States. He also manages a series of funds that collectively um, manage about $15 billion in assets. So he's got a track record, he's got experience. And I asked him, what is he looking for now in this period of slow growth in the U.S. and Europe and much of the world? How does he identify those companies that are going to thrive while their competitors flounder? And he described four things, um, vision, belief, capital, and advantage. First, vision. He said, I look for entrepreneurs, for management that have a compelling long-term vision that is inspiring. Belief. He said, I look for management who believe in their company and are willing to invest in their company now because they, again, see opportunities and they believe their company is going to be successful. Third, capital. I look for companies that have a strong balance sheet that have that excess capacity capacity to invest in those opportunities because competitors are pulling back, slashing budgets, slashing investment plans, and that's leaving opportunities untouched for those forward-looking companies that he looks for. And number four, advantage. Now I asked him, what does he mean by advantage, competitive advantage? And he said, it means you own something or you can do something that is too expensive for your competitors to copy. For example, let's say you own a historic building and it would cost too much for a competitor to build a similar building, so they will not try to build a building across the street from you. You have a competitive advantage. And as if I look at those four things, I really think that they're powerful, not just as an investment um, guide guidance, but also to help you as you build your company and grow your division, look for those things, vision, belief, capital, and advantage, VBCA. One, do you have a compelling vision for the future that's inspiring? Two, do you believe in your company? Three, do you have the capital to invest in opportunities while your competitors are pulling back? And four, are you investing in things that create a competitive advantage for you? Investing in things that have barriers to competitive entry. If I look at those four things and use that as a, as a, as a lens to look at what I see companies in China doing, I see those four things at play. They have a long-term vision for where they want to be. They are believe in the com in their companies and in their co and in the country. They are have the capital. There is lots of capital here, looking for places to be put to work. And they are strategically investing in sectors and entering into opportunities that create competitive advantage. We want to learn from that. We want to apply that. You want to use these four things to help you grow what you're growing. Hopefully that was helpful to you. My name is Kyan Krippendorf. This is the Outthinker Blogcast, the blogcast dedicated to helping you outthink your competition.